Welcome to the unboxing of a very special CPU cooler. Today we have to examine the Intel Thermal Solution TS15A. This thermal solution by Intel was shipped in 2015 and it is concepted, released for the socket LGA1151. But anyway, this thermal solution is also a representative of uh, a marketplace cooler made by Intel to beat or at least compete against the Cooler Master 212 EVO. I don't really know if this is still as effective as the 212 EVO by Cooler Master, but later on I'm going to install this on an i7-7700 to see if it's at least performing better than the stock CPU cooler which is pretty shit if you want my opinion about that but in the end you know it, it's it's a cooler that is uh, shipped free for 30 bucks on Amazon so you pretty much can cannot expect something so bad it should be performing at least better than the stock cooler much better than the stock cooler and it has to be at least on the level of the 212 EVO I'm not expecting the same temps the same performances but at least good temps and uh, you know far better performance than uh, a TX3 EVO also by Cooler Master as you can see on this cheap shit video I've made with my Samsung Galaxy S6 which is a good smartphone but still not having a good camera at all you can see that there is a manual a shitty manual instead there, there are no instructions there are no translations in Italian of course because who fucking cares about Italian and you as well you can see there is the plug-and-play system made by Intel that should be easy to install in this case as you move on with this crappy little video I've made about the unboxing of this CPU cooler which is kind of rare to see on the internet because nobody buys it uh, because maybe nobody knows that this is actually existing on the internet but besides a few stops I've made because I, I have a single end and the other one is occupied by the smartphone as you can see there is this copper aluminium side on the bottom with the thermal paste pre-applied and pretty much uh, I think the, the thermal paste by Intel is not that crap I guess I think it's quite good for a stock CPU but I won't uh, do any overclock on this because it might even fry the CPU I, I think uh, Linus did um, a test on a 7700K uh, trying to get it to 5 GHz but he could not keep the temps under 100 degrees so it's not made for overclocking uh, but although he, it has a 4 pin power setup so it actually steps the fan according to the temps of the CPU so it's quite good this but you know for 30 bucks this is the least you should get from a CPU cooler the 212 EVO it's you know it's two dollars cheaper than this and it's much more capable of, of overclocking but I think that also space is to consider when it comes to this kind of CPUs you have to build a Minitex case that is the case of this cooler it is pretty small it is compact it is quite good looking in my opinion and yes we'll see how it, it handles the 7700 in the next video